Hello, we're continuing to talk about accounting and the basic financial statements. This third video is all about the balance sheet. The balance sheet looks different uh, for whether I'm a sole proprietorship or a partnership or a corporation. So I wanted to give you an example of a sole proprietorship and we can tell it's a sole proprietorship because there's no stock it just says owner's equity. Also if we're a partnership then we would be listing all the different partners. So if you had a hundred different partners you would list each partner so you would know what their capital account is or what their ownership piece is. The other thing to know about a balance sheet is that it does balance uh, assets, which are A, equal liabilities, plus owner's equity, if I'm speaking about sole proprietorships and partnerships. Uh, you'll know that the key numbers that we're going to be looking at are the different types of assets we have. And remember, assets are something that has future or potential value. They're the resources that a company has to make a difference in the world. So the assets, future potential value, resources to make a difference in the world. The types of assets include current assets, those that I'll use in the current period, net property, plant, and equipment, meaning the cost of your uh, property, your land, your equipment, your buildings, less any usage of it, which is called depreciation, gives you net property, plant, and equipment, or net plant and equipment. Other assets can include things like long-term investments, intangible assets. Current Liabilities are your current bills or responsibilities to others. And long-term liabilities are those bills or responsibilities to others that are not going to come due in the current year. Finally, owner's equity is the ownership of the owners, in this case either a sole proprietorship owner or a partner of a partnership. And if we wanted to prove that assets do equal liabilities, we see that our assets are 360000 And they do equal our total liabilities, which is 180000 plus our owner's equity of 180000 So the balance sheet does balance. Well, let's take a look at corporations. Balance sheets for corporations are similar, except instead of calling it owner's equity, it's shareholder's equity or stockholder's equity. A balance sheet tells uh, the, about the financial health of a company at a moment in time. So it's just a snapshot. It doesn't cover a period of time like the other financial statements, but just at a moment in time. Other names for it is the Statement of Financial Position. Again, uh, we're going to do some treasure hunting here on looking at various balance sheets of corporations, and we're going to identify current assets. Remember, those are assets that we we'll use or consume in the current period. Um, usually, they're part of our what we call working capital or, or what we work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Our net property, plant, and equipment, our property and equipment, other assets such as intangibles or, or long-term investments, and the two types of liabilities, current liabilities, responsibilities that we need to fulfill in the current period, or total li or long-term liabilities which we will fulfill in the future. So current plus long-term equals total liabilities. Total shareholders' equity or stockholders' equity is the, the stock that a co corporation sells plus its retained earnings. So we're going to prove again that assets do equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. Here's our first example. So we're going to find these for Facebook. So let's see what we can figure out for Facebook. So I want to figure out what the current assets are. And beautiful, 
they tell me that for the most recent year, our current assets are eleven billion two hundred sixty-seven million. And then the second thing we want to find is the net property and equipment. And so property and equipment net is the same thing. There's that. And then the last thing we want to find as far as assets are concerned is total assets. So there's our total assets. Continuing, we want to find current liabilities. Good news, there's a subtotal. So current liabilities, uh, those are the uh, responsibilities that come due in the current period. Total liabilities, this is a nice company. It tells you what your total responsibilities are. And also, I want to know what total shareholders or stockholders' equity is. And there it is. And notice that stockholders' equity is made up of retained earnings plus a lot about what we call contributed capital. In other words, external ownership of the business. So, these are the answers we would have found. And again, I can prove that assets do equal total liabilities plus total stockholders' equity. All right, your turn. You're going to find those same numbers again, but now you're going to do it for Home Depot. So pause the video and take a few minutes and see if you can find the numbers. Remember, current assets, total assets, property, plant, and equipment, net, current liabilities, total liabilities, and total shareholders' equity. Well, how'd you do? Did you find those? And did you prove that the accounting equation, or the balance sheet, does balance? That's Home Depot. Let's do one more. Here's Google. Google's on two pages, so on the asset side, I need to find current assets and net property and equipment and total assets. Got them? On the liability and shareholders equity side, we want to find current liabilities, total liabilities, and total shareholders equity. Oh, one more thing. Remember that Google, the most recent year is not on the left, but on the right. So go back and fix it if you need to. And hopefully you found these numbers for 2013. All right, here's one more. Find the key numbers. Again, it's the balance sheet because it was long. It's broken into two slides. Delta Airlines. Now, Delta is very interesting. So notice its total assets are 44 billion 550 million. So you have their current assets, their total assets, and their net uh, property and equipment. Notice how much property and equipment they have. Now let's take a look at the liabilities. And it's not stockholders' equity, but stockholders' deficit. And it's because they don't have a positive number as far as their ownership. Their ownership is in the whole. So notice their balance sheet still balances, but their liabilities exceed their stockholders' equity. So hopefully, did you find these numbers? All right, it's time for your self-reporting quiz. So we're going to look for those numbers again, but now it's going to be for IBM. So it takes two pages. So here's the first page of your quiz, your total asset piece of the balance sheet. Got your numbers. And here's your liabilities and equity portion of the balance sheet. Once you've finished your quiz, um, follow the directions on where you need to uh, send it to. So thank you 
for listening to the balance sheet. One thing I wanted to show on this last one, notice that we have other comprehensive income here. So just like we couldn't do the other comprehensive income statement until we had the income statement, we cannot do the balance sheet until we've done the other comprehensive income statement because that number shows up here on the balance sheet. Until next time.